My name is Kevin Koss. Uh, I run a cow-calf operation in South Phillips County, Montana. For years, I, I guess just being around here all the time, I didn't notice very well. The trees were expanding territory by leaps and bounds. And we had what I would say 12 or 15 years of above average precip, different times a year. All of a sudden I started seeing thousands of small trees from six inches tall to several feet high. And then I got to paying attention more and, and I could see that there were places when I was a kid, there weren't any trees or very few and, and now it was just completely filled in. So the rangeland analysis platform is a, a tool that uses satellite imagery to track vegetation changes through time. Um, it then has grown to where it can do different things with that, that data information to provide valuable outputs for land managers. It's a group of data sets, and the two primary data sets uh, are a rangeland cover data set that measures percent continuous cover um, in six different functional groups. The other data set, primary data set that we provide is what we call the rangeland production uh, data set. And this is an estimate of rangeland production measured in pounds per acre, uh, forage essentially, and we measure that annually as well as every 16 days. Things that we've done with it are, we've looked with producers that have had conifer trees. We have some areas of ponderosa pine uh, where producers like Kevin Koss expressed concern that they felt trees were increasing. So we were able to then use those tools to show not only were trees increasing, but they were increasing much more significantly than even Kevin thought. Um, so we we're using it as kind of a, a decision-making tool of like, yes, there in fact is a concern. Or yes, in fact, there is a change. And it's not just something that you observe and kind of qualitatively see, there's a, a quantitative data set that can come through these tools because of that. Where we first looked, we were looking in an area that had like a fairly substantial kind of forested area anyways as well. We're looking at the whole pasture. Uh, when we pared it down to just what should be open grasslands based on the, the site and the soils, and we ran the same report, even on those open areas, there was a huge increase in trees as well. Um, it went from almost a 0% uh, back in 2010 to creeped up to a little over 2% being able as a beginner planner, like I don't know the history of you out here. I don't know what the LARP hills used to look like. And I think to have a tool that you, I can kind of step back in time and say, yeah, we can see a change over time. Um, I specifically remember Martin and I showing this to you and showing you like the imagery and you're like, I knew it. I knew I wasn't crazy. <laughs> and it was so validating to know like we have a tool that like validates what you see on the ground, but also has science to back it up. Um, and then I think for the NRCS to kind of have a program that really fits well into that and fits your needs, there's just leaps and bounds for what we can accomplish on someone's range. Another tool within the Rangelands platform is this imagery slider. It takes um, basically the oldest usable historical aerial imagery and matches it to the map of today and be able to take this slider and go back to the 40s, 50s, or 60s, depending on when the imagery was taken and see the difference. This program is absolutely incredible. Mm -hmm. Just. Uh, just to have data like that, I mean, I, I didn't even know it existed a few years ago, so it's just an incredible tool going forward. I mean, to look at the changes and, and then if you're going to act on the changes and start trying to do some, some projects, where to start, uh, which way to go next, it's just, it's information I just wouldn't, wouldn't have even had access to, so. The range analysis platform really piqued my interest when I heard about it because of the ability to go back in time and as a quick and easy way of trying to assess how much forage I have. Thanks to the help of Martin Townsend, we've got my ranch mapped on it and we've done some reviews of what we're growing for forage and it seems to match pretty closely with what I'm experiencing. Last year on the pastures we grazed, I grazed most of them at 60 to 70% of normal which is exactly what the RAP program showed we grew for forage. This year, we're projecting 50% of normal. 
and I think that's gonna be pretty close. It gives me a better idea of how to set my stocking rate for the year and if I need to be buying or selling livestock. We can use this tool as like an AUM calculator and a historic production calculator. Um, and we were able to kind of estimate how much grass should be there with this based on the, the current year production, um, how much the average would be with historical production. And then we were able to go to the stocking rate and basically play with the variables to match how many cows you had to see how many days that area would last. The strength of this platform, again, is in the data that we provide. Uh, and so we can look back in time for the last 30 years and see how have the pastures changed? How has the ranch changed? We can see, is the management that we are doing, is it, is it working? Is it achieving the effect that we want to achieve? And if it isn't, we can change our management. If it is, we can keep, keep doing that management. And so I think that's the primary strength of the rangeland analysis platform. I think it's a very effective and awesome tool. Um, I mean, monitoring is probably still the best, but by the time we get around to monitoring, it's kind of a mute point. So at least lets us forecast in the future and it's 10 minutes in the office will tell me what two hours of running around checking monitoring sites will tell me. We're in the business of keeping ranchers ranching. And so if ranchers are, we can help, this tool can help them to see are they achieving the objectives uh, that they want to achieve? We're also in the business of rangeland conservation uh, and you know, being the best stewards of the land uh, that we can be. And so having this information, having these data sets will give us a bigger perspective. It won't only help us just in our ranch, it will help us in our region, in our neighborhood, in our county, in our state, uh, whatever it may be. We can, we can see you know, how are things doing? Uh, what are the trends? Are they trending upward? Are they trending downward? And as a community, do we need to change something in order to get the results that we want? As far as like a community aspect, what the rangeland analysis platform can do, uh, when ranchers are able to validate their adaptive management through time, it makes adaptive managers more successful. The general consensus is that the most adaptive managers are usually the most successful. So having a, a feedback loop through a monitoring tool um, is something that greatly supports that adaptive management community of ranchers that we try to support here at Rancher Stewardship Alliance.